What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda. And today is day six of Dope Simber. I know you guys thought I forgot about you guys, but I didn't. Um, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys small knot list box braids that I did on my client. This is my beautiful client Trinity, the same client that I did the $700 knot list box braids on. And we had to run it back just because it was so fire that we had to do it again. So this time we're actually gonna be putting pink underneath, obviously, because she has this section of her hair that is um, colored pink. I believe that this is neon pink by Adore. So for the hair we're going to be using pink by afrazim it is pre-stretched hair and the hair itself honestly was trash to me but i had to use it because this was like the only pink that we could get that was kind of like borderline hot pink but also borderline powder pink it was just a perfect match for what she wanted so i did use this hair to create the knotless in the back now y'all this style literally took me about 10 hours to do I don't know why or what be going through my head y'all but I started her hair at 9 p.m. at night and we literally finished the next day at like 9 p.m. but we took a break so we stopped at 12 o'clock we took a break for like three hours and started again at like 3 a.m. got y'all literally when I tell y'all I'll be working on crackhead hours I don't know why we thought it would be a good idea to start this look that late or what we were thinking but it was a thing it happened I actually ended up doing pretty much the whole style on TikTok live so people were like waking up in the morning like wait what you're still here it's like yes we're still here I literally did not sleep that day I do not advise this like I do not advise people to do this y'all I don't know what be going through my head sometimes I really feel like I have a hair addiction because I be just ready to pull up and do whatever whenever at whatever time so Anyway, these were worth it. These were bomb. I was so happy with the finished look. Um, so I'm super excited to share these with you guys. I did not pre-part out my client's entire head because just baby, no. Like for small knotless box braids, I like am always just ready to dive in. We did these braids to my client's knees. So you could just only imagine, like I'm trying to save all the time that I can, but I do pre-part out the front section. So I will show you guys that um, when I get around to the front. But this nape of the neck, I usually part ear to ear and that's where I start my rows. For a small size, I usually do three to rows back here. It just depends on how um, big the nape of my client's neck is. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing like, I think I did three rows of this hot pink. Um, and then the rest of her hair is going to be black. Obviously, I'm using Expressions, the 58 inches. I don't like to use the 72 pre-stretch because I feel like the longer the hair is, the more it tangles as you're braiding down, which in turn would take longer. So I like to just stretch the hair or, or like keep adding the hair in to get whatever length I want to get. So y'all basically saw how I pre-parted out the front and when I'm working through the back, I'm just going to follow those lines all the way around and it literally is the same thing as if I were pre-part the entire thing. I really don't have issues. Um, I don't like just pre-parting when I'm doing small because I feel like it just honestly takes so much time and I'm going to go through and like just redefine the rows anyway. So I just like to pre-part out my front so that I hold myself accountable and I'm not being lazy. Um, and then I'll go ahead and connect those to the back. Like I love to pre-part out the front because I feel like, especially with small knot list, as you get to the back of the middle or towards the top, y'all, you do start getting tired. You like, look, I can make this a little bit thicker. So I like to pre-part out the front just so I can match it to the back and I make sure that I stay consistent with my rows. I'm not getting lazy. It's just accountability, y'all, it's accountability. So. I'm going to go in and do all of these black and it's going to hide the pink, not completely, but just a little bit. Um, and yeah, I believe that I used maybe, I want to say four packs of expressions braiding hair. Remember y'all, these are to her knees. So I did use a lot of hair. She doesn't think they're heavy, but baby, my neck, <laughs> oh no ma'am, like no ma'am, <laughs> you're getting waist length for me or nothing below that. I got butt length one time and I was just like, uh-uh, baby, my neck my neck so she said they're not heavy y'all but she's young and like trying to be cute so maybe it, it is I don't know maybe it's not but I did use a lot of hair for this I believe I used only probably like two or three packs of the Afrazim and maybe three to four packs of the expressions I'm so sorry I did not like count how many packs I was using y'all I was delusional by the time I was done with her hair but um yeah if I ever do this again I will definitely make sure I keep track of that for you guys 
So y'all, look how beautiful these braids are sitting. My parts are nice and crisp. I remember on my TikTok live, a lot of people were saying, this isn't a small size, this isn't that even that small. Y'all, this is a small for me, okay? So whatever size your braider does for their small, woohoo, kudos to them. These are small for me. And I do not like doing small braids, but for a couple people, I'll do it. But these are small to me. So I was like, I don't know what y'all looking at, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm off with my sizing, but these are definitely small to me i would not consider these medium um and even if they were not knee length i feel like these would still probably take me about five to six hours to do just because yeah these are small to me so i don't know let me know what size you guys think these are in the comment section down below like there's definitely an extra small size which will probably be tinier than that don't ask me to do that because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> this is probably the smallest that I would do, y'all. I honestly do not enjoy doing small braids. But every single time I finish doing a set of small knotless, I love the way that they look so much. And I'm like, oh my god, I want to do this again just because they look so bomb. But during the process, I just be ready to quit. I'm like, I don't want to braid ever again. Like, I'm done. So yeah, big kudos to Trinity. Um, she was definitely a vibe. So I could like hang out with her for 10 hours and be cool. But y'all it's gonna be a minute before we do these again <laughs> even at the end of these she was like why did i ask for this again i said girl you like these tiny old braids but baby when she styles it and puts it in a bun these are definitely a hit so we made a tiktok again and i basically lied and said that i charged her 800 dollars. y'all know trinity begin her hair done for free pretty much all my models get their hair done for free um but I said that I charged her $800 because I wanted it to go viral again and it was a fail but I did have another TikTok that I did um that got a lot of views so I wasn't really tripping but y'all the TikTok for these braids was fire and I'm like it needed to have more views baby I don't know what we was doing we was making TikToks we was making all type of stuff all night so I'm gonna go in and do finishing touches because yes baby we are pretty much our, our ugh, I can't even talk all done I'm gonna go in with my edge control and I did her edges and y'all they were hella ugly like I tried to do this little swoopy thing in the front I don't know why I did that so I did go in and fix it you gonna see what I mean like with the little middle part one it just was not giving what it was supposed to have gave so I went ahead and switched it I didn't do it on camera though but I'm just letting y'all know like it was looking a mess but yeah I actually like these more than I like the first ones that we did these were definitely longer a lot more consistent I think my parting was just better everything was better y'all doing small braids is actually really hard like no cap it's actually really hard but the only thing that I really did different from the first time is that the first time I braided her whole entire head and then I went back and braided down I did not do that this time I feel like that definitely takes longer and I will never do that again so this time I braided each braid all the way down before I moved on and I felt like it was definitely quicker so these are her box braids period like Trinity said they are looking good um if you guys are loving these drop pink hearts in the comment section down below y'all didn't ask her to do all of that extra so i don't know why she was doing that but y'all look how consistent how tiny how full these knotless braids look i think small is definitely my favorite size but do i want to do them again <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i want to do, do these again but i ate these up i'm not even gonna lie i ate these up i love these i'm gonna insert the tiktok that we did at the end of this video um i actually had her come back the next day with a new outfit and i was like baby we gotta put it in a bun we gotta style these we gotta go outside with these okay so yeah i actually had her come back and change outfits and this is that tiktok thank you guys as always so much for watching my videos i really love all the support that you guys give me if you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button i will see you guys tomorrow for day seven baby i hope you guys are enjoying this countdown and as always i will catch you guys in my next video peace out what you mean you don't know panna she's dope what you mean what you mean what you mean what you mean, what you mean? What you mean?